question, Charlie. Um, and thank you everyone for connecting this morning. I know it's early, um, so I appreciate the time that you have uh, with me this morning. Um, so I will go through mostly our three boutique mountain lodges. Um, but we also own restaurants in Calgary here um, that a lot of people don't know about or know, don't know that we're affiliated. And then um, also other um, um, part of our company that really makes the CRMR product so unique. Um, so we'll go through all that. Um, so I wanted to introduce our team. Um, Allison Dean on the far left is our Director of Sales. Uh, you can contact her for any questions about rates or FIT contracts or um, group inquiries. Um, you could also contact myself um, and then Angela Dean is our newest addition to our team so she's the uh, point of contact for any tour inquiries. Um, to give you a bit idea where everything is located, so Buffalo Mountain Lodge is about an hour and a half drive from Calgary Airport. Um, it's located in Banff. And then Deer Lodge is our heritage property in Lake Louise, about two hours um, from Calgary Airport. And Emerald Lake Lodge is um, past the BC border, so 20 minutes, 20 minutes uh, west of Lake Louise, about two and a half hours from, uh, from the airport. Um, transportation in the area could be a little difficult. It's easier um, if you wanted to have um, a shuttle from the airport to Banff, um, but we recommend our guests if they want to go further, especially to Lake Louise or Emerald Lake Wash, to um, use car rental. Um, makes their stay easier and then they could drive around, um, go to different lakes, different hikes. It's just an easier way for them to explore the Rockies. Um, so Buffalo Mountain Lodge is in um, in Banff, Alberta. So it's about um, just a five minute drive or a 20 minute walk from the town center. So it's really nice to be just um, outside of the hustle and bustle of uh, down, you know, the town of Banff. It gets pretty busy, especially in summer. So we're a little bit um, secluded from that, but still very close to all the restaurants and all the shops. Um, we have 108 guest rooms spread over nine acres, so lots, um, lots of flowers, lots of wildlife comes on property. Um, our international guests really enjoy that. We have two room types, so the lodge room uh, is our entry level room, and then the premier rooms is our grading room type. Um, both guest rooms have the wood burning fireplace, as well as the balcony or the patio. And the main feature for the premier rooms is the extended bathrooms you can see on the bottom right um, has old style bathtub, separate shower, um, and just a little bit more space than the, the other bathroom. All of our three properties have the outdoor stainless hot tub. Um, we were talking about it, Charlie and I, just before our presentation, so it's really nice to have a soak in there, um, be outside, but still enjoying your hot water and, and enjoying to being, you know, looking at the mountains and especially just to know if you're coming in the winter. Uh, we also offer complimentary shuttles, so because we are just a little bit outside of the town center, um, your guests could, could be dropped off or picked up in town um, if they wish. So it's, it's on demand, it's not on schedule, they can just arrange it with the front desk. We also have a dry sauna and an exercise facility, as well as our, um, fire, our lounge and fireplace. Uh, it's a really, really nice area to walk into in the main lodge when you check in. Um, so tons of activities to do in Bath. Um, one of my favorite is skiing. Uh, Sunshine is about 20 minutes from our property and then the place is about 40 minutes. Um, hiking as well. We are just behind Tunnel Mountain. So um, your guests could leave our property and go walk to uh, the Tunnel Mountain hike. It's a beautiful hike. It's definitely one I would recommend if you go to Bath. Um, it's not too difficult. So it will take about an hour to an hour and a half depending. Um, on your level, but it's definitely worth the views. Duck sliding, biking, um, anything outdoors you could do in Bath. Um, so we just wanted to show and share some photos that was shared with our social media content. So these are all pictures taken by people that stay with us. Uh, none of these are taken by uh, the company. So um, you know, we can enjoy good food, sit by the fire, um, and do all sorts of activities. 
Uh, Deer Lodge is our heritage property. Um, so it's located in Lake Louise. It's just about a five minute walk from the actual lake. So right behind the uh, Fairmount Lake Louise, if you've been there. Um, it's, it's a great location because you could just walk to the lake um, and you don't have to drive or take a, take a bus there. So it's our heritage because it was originally built as a tea house in 1923, and then it was reno renovated, restored, uh, and converted to a hotel. So the whole decor tried to be authentic of uh, that era and you know, keep, um, keep the original features and keep uh, decoration that um, would bring you back to the time where uh, Lake Louise was discovered and uh, starting to be developed as a hiking destination. So again, we have two uh, room types at Deer Lodge. We have the lodge room, which is our entry level room, and then the heritage room, which is our upgraded room type. Um, we have 70, uh, 78 guest rooms at Deer Lodge, um, so it's our smallest property. But again, we also have the standing steel hot tub, uh, which is located like on the second floor, so you have a great view of the Victoria Glacier and the Victoria Mountain. Uh, it's probably um, our most popular feature of this property. Um, lots of sitting area that uh, kind of features the, uh, the original time where the, the, the lodge was built as a tea house. And then there's no vision in any of the guest rooms, which is something that our guests really enjoy. We want them to be outside doing activities, um, enjoying the, main, the lounge, the dining room, and spending not too much time in their rooms. So if you want to watch television, it's available in the games room as well as the pool table and some games. And we also have a dry sauna as well. Um, again, lots to do in Lake Louise as well, um, if you haven't been. So we were just about 10 minutes from the Lake Louise Ski Resort, which I think is probably one of the best in Alberta. Um, you're just a five minute walk to yeah, the actual lake where you could go canoeing, just hiking, walk around. Um, Marine Lake is off, often forgotten. Um, I definitely recommend it. So it's about a 10 minute drive from our property um, off the main road. Beautiful lake, absolutely worth it. And then biking, skating, all sorts of activities. Um, so again, some social media content share by uh, our guests that stayed with us, just to give you an idea of their experience. Um, Emerald Lake Lodge in Field, BC. Um, this property is very special because it's a cabin style lodging. So you have 24 cabins spread all over property and they're all right off the Emerald Lake. So you can see right here um, what the cabin looks like. Each cabin has up to four guest rooms, so usually two on the, on the second floor and two on the main floor. And all the lodge room will have one queen or two doubles in them. So the balcony, um, you know, there's a balcony in each room where you could go sit and enjoy the outdoors, take a view at the lake or the surroundings. We love our hot tubs. Um, so again, stainless steel hot tub is available. Um, this one is great because you just right off the lake and you can take a view, have a great view from up there. Um, we also have a restaurant, like all three properties, the restaurant is available um, and open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So our guests don't have to worry about going in and anywhere else uh, for their meals. And then we have an outdoor fire pit where you could uh, roast some s'mores. Uh, Cilantro on the Lake is our um, seasonal restaurant. So you probably recognize it. It's our most um, featured and um, photos. It's quite iconic, um, especially in the Rockies. So it's open usually from mid-June till uh, September long weekend. Um, it's totally worth it to go have, have a drink, have a pizza, sit on the patio right off the water right there. Um, also, a ton of activities to do around uh, at Emerald Lake Lodge. So you get out of your cabin and the trail is right there. You start hiking. Um, cross-country skiing is also really fun in winter. We have grim cross-country trails around the lake. Um, but, or just walking and snowshoeing. But um, if you're going in summer, I'd say canoeing is a must. You can really enjoy the lake that way in the scenery. Um, so more social media content um, that was shared by our guests. 
as you could tell, uh, Buffalo, uh, sorry, Emerald Lake Welch is very popular for weddings. So a lot of people will go there, out there, get married, uh, or elope, which is great because we get tons of pictures from them. Um, so we're all about good wine, good food, um, and enjoying not just being out in the mountains, but also enjoying uh, very great cuisine. And that's why we, are, we serve through our property um, Rocky Mountain cuisine. So it's a lot of game meats, um, a lot of farm to table foods, and pair with amazing wines. Uh, and that's what we're really committed to offering to all of the guests coming and dining with us. So to achieve that, uh, we started Bin 905, which is um, a boutique wine store based out here in Calgary. Um, this helped us to bring private importation, specialty wines, um, really develop our wine list, and then being able to serve all these wines throughout to all the restaurants throughout the company. Again, we're really committed in to having farm-to-table foods. So uh, we started the Canadian Rocky Mountain Ranch, um, where we raise elk and buffalo. And all the meats are served throughout the restaurants as well. And then these are our city uh, restaurants. So we have Divino on Stephen Avenue, 8th Avenue. We have Cilantro uh, on 17th Avenue, and then right next door, Barcy. And then on Lake Bonavista, we have the Lake House, which is our newest restaurant. Um, so in the invitation, I sent uh, Charlie our summer and our winter video. So if you haven't seen them, I highly invite you to um, go see them because they give a really great idea of where we're all about and um, what you can do in the area. So we have one in for the summer and one for the winter as well. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate um, being able to speak a bit more about our brand and what we're all about. And uh, Charlie, I will give the mic back to you. And well, thank you so much for such beautiful properties, um, all three of them. And then that combined with the food and the wine, <laughs> the, the fires as well, and the hot tubs. It's just, yeah, such a, all fantastic products. So. Um, Thank you so much for that. And I have actually experienced the food at your lodge, and it's just right up there and like one of the best meals I've ever eaten. So I can definitely, oh, awesome. uh, <laughs> definitely vouch for the food. Uh, yeah, it's brilliant. Um, if you haven't seen those winter and summer videos, we can resend them. They were in the original invite email that went out. And uh, yeah, again, really great videos that, that show what life is like at the lodges, I guess. In the beautiful Rockies. So, guys, the floor is open for questions. Any questions, please do uh, shoot them through, and uh, we'll, we'll get answering those. Um, so, with the restaurants, if people weren't staying at the lodges, are you, are you able to visit the restaurants as a non-guest? Of course, absolutely, yes. Um, all open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep, yeah, all three of them. Mhm. Mm but obviously we do recommend um, staying at the properties, but if you listen, that is another another option. So which one is your is your favorite, Manuela? Am I not allowed to ask that question? My favorite restaurant of all three? Um, that's a good question. I think that for the scenery, I like Emerald Lake Lodge the best. And I think for the ambiance, I like Buffalo Mountain Lodge the best, but I think Deer Lodge has the best food. And what about staying? Which lodge would be your favorite to stay at? Oh, um, to stay, it all depends on what experience you're looking for. Um, I really enjoyed, obviously, Emerald Lake Lodge because you're right off the water. But um, Buffalo Mountain Lodge is quite up there because the uh, the, the premier rooms are uh, recently built, so when the, the O'Connors purchase the property. Um, so they're really beautiful and really comfortable, really cozy. So I like your Buffalo Mountain Lodge for that teacher. Awesome. Um, Sam says, do people tend to book the properties individually or all three together and make a tour of it? Um, that's a good question. We get a, a lot of both. Um, usually people will stay at two of our hotels. Maybe they're not going to make it to all three of them if they're staying for a week. Um, but yeah. They, 
sometimes they will, um, especially if they, especially guests who have already have stayed with us before and enjoyed their experience and know about the food and know we're all about. Uh, these are the ones that usually, when they come back, they're gonna book at two properties and then make it a make it a little itinerary by themselves. Yeah, sure. And of course, you've got to go in summer and in winter because um, yeah, it's completely, completely different experience, completely different activities. Um, everything changes, I guess. So it's uh, you got to see the, the two opposites. Absolutely. Yes. Um, I think the people have this image of the Rockies, and, you know, the beautiful lakes and the mountains, and being such a summer destination, which is amazing in summer, absolutely, but. Um, in the fall, it's gorgeous. In winter, it's an absolute winter wonderland. It's amazing. Um, you kind of feel in a fairyland. It's so pretty. Well, you can see the photos right now. It's tons of snow and just a total different experience. And um, what about Christmas at the lodges? I take it you probably go um, all out celebrating Christmas oh. decorations and things like that. Absolutely. Um, Christmas will be your second busiest time of the year. Um, we have travelers coming from all over the place spending the whole Christmas to New Year's Eve uh, with us. So we have a special um, Christmas dinners on, on Christmas night, and then we have um, Christmas brunch in the morning, and then we have a New Year's Eve party. Um, so a ton of activity on property, and then just being out in the mountain in the snow and just spending some time um, with their, their partners or their friends they're traveling with and enjoying the Rockies that way. Yeah, that's great. Are the lodges quite family friendly as well, or is it more couples and, and adults? Um, I would say that um, Emerald Lake Lodge is more couples, um, just because it's such a romantic destination. Gear Lodge and Buffalo Mountain Lodge, we will have uh, more families. Um, and also, there's a lot more to do out there um, for, for families there and, you know, more accessible to go do activities. Um, Emerald Lake Lodge is very remote. Um, it's gorgeous out there, beautiful, no cell phone reception, um, no Wi-Fi in the guest room, only in the main lodge. So it's really great for um, couples or adults that want to do retreats and really disconnect, uh, but might be a little secluded for children. Oh, that's a good, good tip, thank you, awesome. Alrighty, I think that's it for the questions. Judy says thanks for more good information about Canada, especially the lodges and all the activities available. So thank you, Judy. Uh, thank you all so much. We will sign off there, but Manuel and I will stay on the line. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. Um, otherwise, hope to see you again in a couple of weeks, and everybody have a great day.